404966. It's all good. But we got one more, one more uh, direct line interview. And I got to run uh, one commercial. We're going to come right back. Let me check my line real quick and make sure the homie's on the line. All right. Uh, uh, Daylight Johnson. What's happening then? What's happening then? You ready, folks? You about ready to take off? All ready. All right, man. All ready. All right, man. Stand by. We're going to get ready to run one or two drops, and we'll come right back to the homie uh, Daylight Johnson. This is K100 Radio. You guys pause real quick. K100, you bastards. We'll be right back with the homie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's your record record. DJ Just Swag, man, and you can catch me each and every Friday right here bringing you the best of independent artist news, music updates, events, topics, and conversation. Think they know somebody that's got some dope music or project and just need to get you on the radio? Man, all you got to do is hit me, swag, tracks, and vocals you, at gmail.com. That's swag, two Gs, tracks, and vocals at gmail.com. You can always link with me. Hit me on IG. Hit me on Snapchat at IDJ Swag, two Gs, and we can get it popping. Don't forget, Just Swag TV. Each and every Friday from 11 to 12 p.m. Right here on K100 Radio. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah, man. Hey, it's your man DJ Will Money. Catch my mix show, Street Anthems Live, right here on K100 Radio each and every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern as I bring you the latest R&B and hip-hop music. Plus, check out my Indie Spotlight segment where I give indie artists a chance to shine. That's every Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern, Street Anthems Live, right here on K100 Radio. It's going down. Here's another exclusive interview on K100 Radio. You All right, we are back. Tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop right. R&B. All right, let's get to it, folks. K100, you bad. All right, <laughs> number three of the night. Number three of the night. This is K100 Radio again. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks for tuning into the show. All right, welcome again to another one of our direct line interviews. We're getting ready to chop it up with the homie Daylight Johnson. We're gonna go ahead and bring him on the line real quick. Real quick. Hey, yo, homie, what's good, fam? What up? What's happening, K100? What it do? Man, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome hey, to the show. Much, All right. I know it's the first time, but it won't be the last, man. Listen, I'm going to do the same thing like I did for my other two interviews that we did today. We're going to stop this music real quick. I'm going to pause for the calls. I'm going to let you take the floor. Tell everybody who we rock with, man, where you're from. Tell them about Daylight Johnson real quick. This is Daylight Johnson, man. I'm officially out of Alabama, man. Union Springs, Alabama. Small city. You already know what time it is, man. Mr. My Shawty. That's my Shawty. And uh, like I say, man, y'all rocking with K100, man. It's me. All I right. am the only Daylight Johnson. Let's go. You know what it is. Welcome, 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 welcome. Alabama in the building, man. We don't get a chance to talk to, like, a ton of artists from Alabama, man. So the first question I want to ask you, man, is about the grind, about being from Alabama and being an independent artist. Because that's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I don't know what the hell going on. But for some reason, people love to sleep on Alabama in all kind of aspects except college fucking football. You know what I'm saying? Except that. That's it's like every respect everything else, every everything else is like ah, it's just Alabama, but except we talking about uh, uh uh you know Nick Saban or something. But listen, when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to being an independent artist, there's a shitload of talent in Alabama. And I know this, A, because I'm from the yeah. South. I'm born and raised in Florida. I'm right from Panama City, Florida, um, uh, about a 45 minutes to an hour drive from Dothan. I grew up going back and forth to Dothan, Alabama, most of my life, hanging out, partying down there. I know people in the industry from Alabama. There's a lot of people doing a lot of big things, but for some reason, it just doesn't pop. People people don't just say Alabama when we're talking about new hip hop or new music. What, 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 what do you have to say so, about that? Go ahead. I guess because we're so different. Go ahead. You're different? I guess we're we so different, man. Um, it, it's really hard for Alabama. Like I said, we get overlooked by we get overlooked by a lot in the industry, man. We get overlooked a lot in this industry, man. And in, in the grind, you know, to get in this industry is real hard for Alabama, man. Uh, it's hard for me. That's why, you know, I mean, I go real, real hard. You know what I'm saying? I try to set myself aside from, you know, other artists. And it's hard for Alabama because we have to set ourselves aside through everybody else because, like I said, Mississippi got there. You know, Atlanta making a lot of noise, Florida. You got Tennessee, and it's like we just overlook. But I guess it's, just, it's because we're so different. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're so different, man. We have our own, like, slang of, of, of everything, man. It's like we're right in the middle of 
you know, the Atlanta, the Tennessee, the Mississippi, exactly. the Florida, all that slang, and it comes right here in Alabama. And we just, I don't know, man, we, we put it together. We put all that slang together in a way, well, we really just want people to understand us. That's all it is, man. And, and like I say, daylight, man, I am, like, right now, I'm feeling like I'm like the, I'm not going to say the last hope because there's so much talent, and I'm trying to bring so much talent with me once I get my feet all the way in this industry. You know, so he's right. just wet, man. So it, it's, it's a lot, man. And it, I don't know why is it why it's so hard, man. I, I mean, it, it's real hard. I thought, I, we deserve respect. I know. I, I, I thought and maybe, right now, man. I, listen, I, I, I thought, I, I, and I asked you the question because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm agreeing with everything you're saying, and I thought maybe it was something that I'm missing. So every chance I get, Whenever I speak to somebody in the industry, not 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 just artists, I'm talking about the promoters that I talk to, whoever. I'm like, yo, what what is it about it? Because like you just said, it, you right in the mix of it. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'll be frank with you. I feel like people will start, or people will say something about Mississippi because maybe it's because of crit or whoever. I don't know why, but it's like I hear people talk about Mississippi artists more. And I'm like, bro, Alabama got so many dope artists. You, I, I be going to events there, and, and bro, it be crazy. I be like, I don't understand it. It's you guys in South Carolina. I don't, I don't know, understand. Man. I don't understand why. I don't get it. I don't know, man. It, it's hard for. Um, hopefully, you know, I got a lot of people right now in the industry right now taking taking me serious about what I do, right? And what I'm trying to do for you know put Alabama on the map and do what I do, man. And I'm just hope I'm just happy that I can represent it well, well enough to see that I'm not the only one in Alabama that's, that's actually, you know, out here grinding, trying to make some noise, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it has been a lot of, it has been a, you know, handful of artists that made it, you know, but we just, I don't know, man. It's just something about, you know, the industry in Alabama. I, I really honestly feel like, you know, Alabama is not giving the respect, but, yeah. you know, for us other artists, I don't know their business plans or, or whatever they do, but I'm, I'm grateful and I'm blessed that, you know, have a staff around me, you know, like all access. Yeah, I said it, Jay. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taking me serious, man. Right, right. Taking me real serious right now, man. Well, I tell you and, what. Uh, dealing with uh, metal music and, you know, everything, man. So hopefully I'm opening those doors for Alabama myself Absolutely. in music and, and the music of business. You right. know what I'm saying? In the business of music. I'm sorry. Yeah. So listen, I, I, I can tell you one thing that you are doing correct. And this is this is, this is is just the, the God on the truth. One thing that, that that I know that you are doing, and I don't know much about you as an artist, we're gonna we're gonna dive into more of that right now. But what you are doing is you're willing to pick up and travel and go to other places to take your music and spread it out organically. You feel what I'm saying? You, you you're willing to you're willing to break out, pull up, go to do shows and perform in other places, and that and that really matters at the end of the day. Of course, you want to make sure you lock down your local area, especially being an independent artist. If you ain't got your your city behind you, your region behind you. How far can you really go unless somebody just drops a bag on you from somewhere else? But at the end of the day, for it to spread organically, it starts there and then it spreads out. So you're definitely doing that part because I see you out here grinding. Um, you've got some music videos. We're going to play one of the videos for you. We got the new single. We got my shouting. And we got a video for you too. All right. You know what I'm saying? So we got a, we got a couple of things. We got a couple of things lined up that we getting ready to uh, introduce to our listening audience for Daylight Johnson. But you're definitely doing that part right. So let's fast forward a little bit. And let's talk about you. We focus on Alabama. We talked about the region. But let's talk about you. Let's talk about Daylight Justin as an artist. Where are you at with your grind? How many projects do you have out right now? How, how long have you been an artist? Tell us about you, your, yourself, and your career. Um, Me, man, I've been doing this music thing, man, since I was like 14, man, or ever since I can remember. Um, Started out, you know, doing R&B a little bit, just as, as a young kid before 14 or whatever. And uh, really just caught an ear for it once I got into the Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Dr. Dre's, all that stuff right there, man, learning that stuff. And 16, I actually did my, my first song and everything, man, and, and, you know, got my feet wet in the industry. Then I took a hiatus because I couldn't make beats. So <laughs> learn how to make beats. <laughs> hey, yeah, learn how to make beats, produce myself and everything in order to be heard. Um, here I am about maybe 18 got my first deal with Sony and everything man and that took a wrong turn for me because I didn't know the business of it you know what I'm saying right so learned the business of it man and was you know consistently you know dropping you know mixtape here albums actually I don't freestyle I, I tell everybody I can't freestyle or whatever I always taught myself to write I always felt like 
writing was, you know, basically where the money was, and that's how I expressed myself. Right. So got up in age, man, and, and you know, really learned the business of it, man. And I started the label, shut it down, and say, hey, that's what, hey, publishing is where it's at. So I learned the game, man, and started my own publishing, Lightweight Music Publishing, LLC, man, and, you know, been releasing my own music ever since then, man, and actually shopping beats and music to, you know, different commercials, movies, you know, just get myself out there, man, and put myself on a different platform than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So it was like, man, it was a, you know, dream come true, man, when I can, you know, do what I do and people actually respond to it, respect it and everything, man, but... Uh, to bring you up to speed, man, right now, man, I'm just doing the radio tours, you know, and, uh, you know, just, I'm everywhere right now, man, so bef before everybody know it, man, anybody know it, man, I, I couldn't tell you because I have a, a, a management company right now, man, that I just probably bumped into maybe uh, 30 days ago, man, and I have done countless shows, countless interviews and everything, and I'm grateful for it, man, so it's like the new single, My Shawty, was produced by my um by my longtime friend man who really started me off and, and pushed me to keep going keep grinding was super ill right there in Montgomery Alabama he did a lot for Alabama right. a lot of people don't know he was actually producing a lot for you know the late Doe he did a lot of stuff for um you know Hustle Gang and everything and actually pushed that movement with Doe right. before he was taken from us too soon so right now I'm working with him man so uh, especially on the new single but 80% of, you know, whatever I do now is, is hey, I um I produce it myself. I write everything myself. And like I said, man, publishing company, and I'm actually trying to bring more artists out of Alabama, you know, along for the ride, man. Right. And I, like I say, but I just use myself as a guinea pig on everything. So exactly. So it's that's a blessing to be in my position right now, man, and grind. Well, listen, it sounds like you got a plan. Uh, respect, a lot of respect on what you said about publishing and making sure that you get into the bag. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I also respect the fact that you said, uh, you know, you, you 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 had a deal at one point and you didn't know the business, so that didn't work out. <laughs> right? That's generally how yeah, that man, shit that, goes. That made me stop. You know what I'm saying? That actually made me stop chasing a deal. Yeah. That's why I can tell a lot of artists, man, a lot of upcoming artists, man, stop chasing a deal. Because I'm just going to be 100. A lot of these, a lot of labels, man, they, they ain't really giving away the bag like they was in the 90s, you know, to help our artists out and do this and that right there. Right. Right now, they looking for the bag. You have to already be established. And that's what I'm and that's what I'm trying to prove right now, you know what I'm saying, to to Alabama. Because I think that's what we, we always get it wrong or what we have got it wrong in the past. Mm -hmm. We're chasing the deal, you know. And when rejection comes, they give up. They feel like they're not good enough or whatever. And I think that's what it, it comes into with the business thing, too. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like right now, man, is it, I'm out here grinding with my own publishing company. You know, no label. You know, doing it myself. Still working 9 to 5, man. I still working 9 to 5. Nothing but wrong with that. This is my passion. This is my, my goal, my dream, man, to become, you know, that artist, the P. Diddy of my city. And, you know, just grind, man. Yeah. Exactly. I know you were like, yeah, he got a 9 to 5. Yeah, I have a 9 to 5. It's the only thing that's... That's funding me right now, you know. Listen, I listen. didn't go the route of the. That's all. You, you don't gotta listen. Say no more. Listen. You ain't gotta say no more. That's it. I'm fucking tired, sick and tired. You you you, you triggered a rant. I'm sick and tired of artists feeling like they gotta risk their freedom and do a whole bunch of extra shit. That's that's really probably gonna end up in the long run setting them back to try to be a superstar rapper before they actually on the level of a superstar rapper i'm i'm fucking sick of it i'm tired of people promoting i'm tired of people telling artists if you have to work a job if you can't quit your job you really don't love this shit fuck you especially if you got kids i've been getting a lot of that man i don't want to hear that I've shit been getting a lot of yeah yeah, yeah man, i know i know, a lot of people I know. listen they like telling me like well, fuck you, them. you're fuck them. listen 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 they ain't gonna take care of you they're, they're, you're not the responsibility unless they quote unquote signed you and gave you this deal or whatever they're not beholden to you you feel what i'm saying you've got to learn the balance you've got to be able to go out and do both until you can get to that next level i don't care what anybody says i have never ever believed in being a quote unquote starving artist you feel what i'm saying now if you in a kind of a career exactly. or a job that can that that you can never ever take off from 
that you can never get off at night to perform it if you never ever can travel even get in some vacation time to maybe make sure you plan ahead and, and get vacation time to go out to south by southwest or any one of the if you have a job where you can never ever do that that is hindering you but if you 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 if you can find a way to work a quote unquote nine to five or maybe a ten to six or what the fuck ever it is and you still have time to create you still have time to perform you're still taking care of your business handling your grown man business because we all both we all adults over here there's nothing wrong in that there's no shame in that i'm really fucking sick of everybody telling independent artists that they can't be able to provide for themselves in a rational way at the same time uh go out and try and do uh, what it is that it needs to be done, and, and I was, and I was, and I was, and I always put that out, like on my Facebook or whatever. Like I, I tell, you know, people in my hometown, man. Like y'all know where I'm from. I'm from a real small town, man. Right. You know, and it's like they'll look because they're caught up in the smoke and mirror thing. And I tell a lot of artists that's trying to come up, you know, in my hometown or whatever. Yeah, I still have a job because you know they see me every day or whatever, and they they be amazed at mm -hmm. the grind that I have. You know what I'm saying? I got kids. I got a mortgage. You know what I'm saying? I got carbon payments and everything. I know how hard this grind is. You have to have a job. You have to fund yourself. Yeah. Because nobody else is going to do it. And I stress that a lot. You know, I managed to 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 get a publishing company, you know what I'm saying, my publishing company to, you know, as a source of income to fund, you know, my music career. But I never wanted, you know, my job to... I never wanted to depend on my job to fund my career because I'm, I, that's what I'm actually doing now. Right. My job is for my family and my kids to eat. You know, and I try to keep my, my music, my life, my music life, and, and my nine to five separate. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. But like you said, though, I, I've been on my job long enough to accumulate those vacation days or, or those, that paid time off and everything to go and pursue my career. And, they, and, and my job is 100% behind me on knowing that, that that's what I do. You right. know what I'm saying? So weekends and everything like that right now. So it's been a straight blessing, man. And I'm, and I'm happy that I can show other artists that's trying to come up like, ain't nothing wrong with having a nine to five. Right. Because ain't nobody else going to do it for you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to put their hands on you until you making that bag. Basically. But when you get to that point <laughs> where you're making that bag, what you need them for? Right. Exactly. That's the point taken. All right. So actually, I'm out here doing it independent, no label. Basically, I'm a walking label myself. So, and I had to realize that. You know what I'm saying? Well, you so, gotta, they got to respect it, it, it bro. Hey, it's a grind. They got to respect it, bro. They got to respect it. All right. It's time to get to the fun part. We already done talked y'all off and gave y'all the business and kept it 100 with you. Let's get to the music. You are tuned to the K100 Radio. Okay. Of an r &B. Of course, you know who it is. K100, you bastard. <laughs> I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks everybody for tuning into the show. This is K100 Radio. Now we got we got a song. We got a we got a video. You know what I'm saying? It came out it came out a little bit ago, but that ain't got nothing to do with it. Cause if they ain't never seen it, it's new to them. It's new to me. But we also got the new single, and we're gonna drop this single that you're pushing right now, my shawty, my shawty. All right. Now I seen you perform this one. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Uh, you came out to the All Access event. You know, I, I'm always I'm always uh, frank when I, and I when I get my honest and my and my feedback, and I told you what I felt about it. But we've got this one, and we've got some other music too. Now, of course, when we decided that um, we were going to do this interview today, it was kind of last minute, but we were able to pull it off. Um, we said we we're going to do the interview. Of course, at that point, I went back and did exactly what I said to you that night was, I want to hear some more of your music. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so. That's exactly oh, what yeah, I did. Oh yeah, oh that's yeah. What, that's exactly what I did. So, so, so You're then like, I'm yeah, like, I said, hey, hey, yeah. it's, that, it's this and that, but I want to hear some more. So yeah. I was like, I want to give him some more. But my boy was like, it gonna come. It's yeah, gonna come. Yeah. But what happened was, I went back anyway and got some more because I told Jay Harris and everybody to send me some links to your YouTube videos and all that. And the video that I'm gonna play, and it was another video that was up there. I was like, see, I knew, I knew for a fact when I heard those, I was like. I knew he could. I knew what he was capable of. I saw your professionalism when you came in there. Your attitude. I was like, he's got some more in the bag. But I was I, that night. I was like, I just want to hear some more music from you. And I did. I went to her. I watched two of your other videos, and I pulled one of them today so we could play it on the air too. Because I was like, I fuck with this right here too. All right, for real. But we're gonna jump into this single right here called My Shawty. I want you to set it up. Tell the people what we about to listen to right now. This is joint by Daylight called My Shawty. Who produced it? And all, we already said who produced it, but tell them again, and then let them know what's up with it. And then we're gonna run it right into the song. Go ahead. What's happening, world? Hey, this is K100 Radio. This is your boy, Daylight Johnson, man. And you're about to get my new single, My Shawty, produced by Super L, straight out of Alabama. 
and we gonna get into it. Let's get it, man. Yes, man. Let's check it out, man. Shout out to the Gump in the building. Shout out to Bam in the building, man. Shout out to Beham. All oh, man, man. Shout out to Alabama. Period, man. Y'all better wake up and stop sleeping. You did. K One's radio. This is Daylight. Call my shouting. You, you guys never know what you think about it if you watch on the live stream and all that stuff. Holler back at me real quick. You. Yeah. yeah. They like Johnson, man. Yeah. Lightweight. Yeah. Lightweight. Lightweight. Yeah. This is super okay. ill trip. Okay, that's my show. 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 Tank, she on Hennessy. I wanna know, can she really fuck? The look on her face when she bust a nut. How much of me can she really take? We lawyer to me and gon' keep me safe. Out with the old, so to keep it new. Don't fuck with them all, select a few. Finesse on these hoes and boss a bitch. I'ma get money and toss a bitch. Keep a 100, don't lie to me. You all in your feelings, confide in me. Won't take it for granted, don't never that. You give me your heart, I won't give it back. Respect is a present from me to you. It's a holiday shot do what you do. I take you places you never been. Don't carry no cash, go get your pen. Buy what you want and don't look at me Fuck with the cost, I'ma pay the fee Don't need a receipt, y'all, no returns Whatever don't fit, I'ma let it burn And that's my show That's my show K100, you bastards. K100, you radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks for tuning into the show. We rocking out with Daylight Justin. That was this joint called My Shout. I got a video for you guys over there in a minute that we're going to play for the homie. Uh, uh, I want you guys to check out, too. I find this one. I dug this one up on YouTube. We're going to run that in a minute. You dig? De- uh, Daylight, what's going on, homie? What's happening? What's happening, man? What's happening? All right, so that was a joint called Shouty. All right, we got the SRS. I'll let you guys tell them what that shout for in a minute. We're going to run that. But man, we've had a we had a really interesting conversation. This is a direct line interview on K100 Radio. This is when we chop it up with independent artists. And what we do here, we just have a a, a quick uh, thirty minute conversation, a direct conversation with about a, 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 a plethora of things. So far with Daylight, we've talked about the industry. We've talked about being from Alabama, being an independent, all right, being a grown ass man, handling your business, however you have to handle it to take care of yourself. In the meantime, what have I missed? I don't know. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what. Tell me about in your travels. Uh, tell me what it's like, uh, you know, traveling up to cities like Atlanta. You're in the city right now, right? You're in Atlanta right now. Am I correct? No, nah, actually, man, I'll be back in Atlanta um, in the morning, man. I'll be oh. back in the morning, man. In the morning? Because, okay. Like I said, it's a grind, man. And, you know, budget, you know, hey, I still got the budget, man. Um, Alabama right now from Atlanta is like two and a half hours, man, and I drive it. And I've been driving it every day this week. Man. You just- know? The so grind, man. Basically four hours of my, basically four hours of my day is on the road, man. And I try to, you know, keep working. I try to stay working, you know. Uh meeting people and everything, man. And like I said, when I come back to Alabama and everything, man, it's 
it's pure grind. It's still, you know, perfecting what I did from yesterday, trying to be better for the next day. You know what I'm saying? Preparing myself, man. Exactly. So it's actually right now, man, I'm cruising the city, city, man. So like I said, with budget issues, man, I'm just being honest. I know probably my my management probably won't really reveal that, but, you know, I, I got my own budget and everything, man. So, you know, it was a choice of, hey, getting my gas saver and, you know, pay for the gas or just, you know, get a hotel room for the week or something like that right now. But I knew I was going to be all over the city. Right. You know, and I knew I had to come back to Alabama first day of school for my kids and my father first before my artist. So, you know, take care of my family and everything, man. So hey. I, I'd rather do the back and forth thing and, and show my grind, you know. Listen, that's nothing but that's nothing but respect. <laughs> nothing but respect over there. We gonna, we definitely going to rock with you just because, I, listen, I, there's, there's one thing I got to say to you, bro. And I, and I, I said I actually met this artist before not too long ago at the uh, All Access. If you don't know about the All Access uh, event, uh, uh, All Access ATL event that Jay Harris hosts uh, in concert with uh, DJ Swag and uh, Hadouken, uh, Carrie Q over there at Kissworks. Uh, it's a real dope event that we do. Uh, of course, brand sponsored by K100 Radio and artists come out and they perform. And that's why I actually met this artist that he came over there and rocked the stage at the one that we had the last one. It's the last Sunday every month. And so that's why I met him and I seen him rock the stage. I saw, I saw him do that song and I gave him my feedback. But you got to respect when you see somebody and then you come back and you see them again, if you keep it 100 with them the first time, you can keep it 100 with them from then on. I got, I'm telling you right now, like I'm, I'm definitely going to start taking a notice to this particular artist just because no matter what, his spirit and his humbleness and his mind was right, even if the conversation, even when I'm, 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 I may have been critical of the music, like he still was like, he, he accepted it. He was like, yeah, okay, cool. So I got some more music. I'm going to bring it back to you. And that's all you have to do in this industry at the end of the day. So big respect to him. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some more music from him. You know what I mean? So tell me what's next after you doing my shawty. Is this going to be on a whole album? Are you dropping an album, a mixtape? What's going on? Where's this song going to be on? Are you just kind of shopping a single right now? Right now, man, I'm, I'm actually just shopping the single, see where, you know, and actually throughout my career, man, before, you know, I have been dropping albums and everything like that right there and getting nice feedback, getting nice buzz off of it. But it came to a point where I was like, you know, let's do some singles, see where those go, and I'll know what then to put my, I know what then to evolve my album around or what style that I want to do an album on right now. So right. after my shawty, man, right now with this single right here, man, I'm, I'm I'm planning on a few listening parties, man. I'm going to drop like a, maybe a seven or eight piece EP or something like that, man, to get the people, you know, used to knowing what I'm about or what I'm, you know, what I'm doing right now, man. Exactly. That's the whole thing, man. A lot of artists, what they do is they they, they don't, they get a lot of songs. And Carrie QT, you know, shouts out to her, man, and she gave me some good advice, man. She was like, you know, pick one song. And, and run with it. And I heard her critique another artist on that. And I was like, dang, that's what I'm doing. You pick one song to keep your fans from being confused on what, you know, what are you doing? You know, what's your best song or whatever? You you get that one song and you run with it. Right. Exactly. You know, if it's you know, six to eight months or, you know, get yourself, you know, I, I recommend somebody get yourself a year. Push that song for a year and see what it do. You know, after that right now, then you might... You don't can it. You, you you come with something else and you actually put it on a, a, a EP or something like that. So that's basically what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm pushing singles, man. So if I haven't dropped a, uh, I actually dropped the album like last year called Lord Have Mercy. It's mm -hmm. been doing great and everything, but it was more of a personal album to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, my shot just came off as like, what's next? You know, to amp up the game, man. You know, stay relevant in it and keep up with the times in the game. So. My shawty, man, I don't know, and I'm just being honest. I don't know if I'm going to put it on an album or nothing like that right there, but right now I'm just shopping the single to see what the buzz is, man. All right. Just put it out there and see what, you know, what people like about it or whatever and see if they like that style of play from me. All right. That's what's up. So I got this video, and I want you to tell me about this video we're getting ready to go into. Um, SRS, is, which is short for what? Tell the people real quick. Basically, man, SRS is... Some real shit. Some I'm real just going to be 100 with you. Um, hey, I'm on K100, so I got to be 100. Right. Hey, <laughs> SRS, it, it came from a mixtape that I dropped exclusively for YouTube. Um, I actually did that song in my living I actually did the whole song. I, I produced the whole mixtape or whatever. And I, I released it exclusively to YouTube. 
The mm. name of the uh, mixtape is called SRS The Confession. Mm. Basically, some real shit, The Confession. I'm confessing the industry and what I've been through in this in this whole industry or whatever and what it took for me to get to the point where I'm at now. Uh, that song, SRS, that, you know, that people are about to hear now, it was originally wrote for Young Jeezy. I originally wrote that song for Young Jeezy. Mm. Um, when I finished the song and everything, and we're going to get back together with him because I was talking to some of his people or whatever, and he liked the song, but it was like, um, hey, I couldn't get in touch with him no more. I think he went on tour or something like that right now. I couldn't get in touch with him. So as time went by, I actually catered the song to myself. And and that's what I try to do when I write, when I try to write music or shout my music to other artists or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because back then, you know, then people were like, dang, you and Jesus got the same style of play. You got the same vocals or whatever. This never done. I couldn't help how I came off with it. But at the same time, it caught somebody's eye, and I actually originally wrote that song for Young Jeezy. And when, you know, I'm, I'm not going to just put it out like that. We, you know, cool or whatever. Never, you know, officially just met him on that on that level, say that's my friend. But nothing came about it, so I actually rewrote the song and catered it to myself. I actually produced the song and everything, and hopefully we was going to, um, you know, do a remix to it or, or anything like that right now. Right. But that's how that song SRS came about. And um, like I said, man, it came off the mixtape SRS, The Confessions, real shit. And um, I actually shot it right here in my hood, you know, and given, right. you know, the grimy scene right. of what's going on and actually portraying what what's really going on. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm actually saying some real shit. So, right. so let's check it you out. Know, and confessing. All right. Let's check it out. This is uh, some real shit. <laughs> This is some real shit. That's y'all see what he did there. This is some real shit. Uh, and this is the homie uh Daylight Johnson. Let's check this joint out. This is K100 Radio, all right? Let's go. Screaming up to God with my back up against the wall. Faith in Almighty, I'm top and I never fall. Cup of tangle rain for the pain. I take a sip. Got me walking with my shoes untied. I never slip. So I'm flying in the back of my mind. I take a trip. Bright lights, big city. I'm dumped on the side of the wheel. Chains on, cause I'm hot right now. Me and my bitch. Fuck, I kill, cause it's dark outside. Some real shit. Treat the moon like I do for the sun. It's going heat. And these niggas throwing shade at a nigga. They don't flee. Oh shit. For you whole ass niggas. So what the Deal, you don't like what I'm saying, my nigga, that's how you feel so what you saying, my nigga, when they been talking to you I'm insane for the bullshit, it didn't happen to you Got me speaking this real shit, but you niggas on point Let me handle my business, bitch, I'ma get to the point Ain't no more play with this shit, just let me rewrite the strip I'm so high on these bitches, you niggas might need a lift And I'm ahead of the game, I'm so strategic with plans Lay you down with this pistol so you can talk to the man, it ain't no faking to me, don't do that fraudulent shit, you niggas buy all the bitches, I'd rather go buy a brick, hit the block with that Yola, uncut with no baking soda, you niggas ask who I am, I got the soul of a soldier, let's go, screaming up to God with my back up against the wall, faith in the almighty on top and I never fall, cup of tangle away for the pain, I take a sip, Got me walking with my shoes untied, I never slip So I'm flying in the back of my mind, I take a trip Bright lights, big city, I'm ducked off the side of the wheel Shades on, cause I'm hot right now, me and my bitch Fuck, I care, cause it's dark outside, some real shit some Nigga, real fuck shit. what you real think of me, you ain't seen shit yet I'm about to piss off some people and go and get me a check I'ma fuck a few hoes and I'ma kick a few doors I make you open them bitches when I pull up and that road. You see me shining, my nigga. You know this shit ain't a game. Them ain't no carrots, my nigga. I see that shit in your chain. And I'm gonna put you on game. You niggas fuck off, boys. I get you fucking with mine. And I'm gonna kill y'all, boys. Listen, I just don't understand the fuck is you talking about. I bet you hear plenty of me when them birds fly south. I got this music on Molly. You need to get you a few. If I gave you a whole thing, you wouldn't know what to do. See, this shit ain't that complicated, you make it that way. You throwing rocks at a jug and I see you just in the way. And I'ma keep running shit, that's right, ain't taking no loss. Couple 
looking up to God with my back up against the wall. Faith in the Almighty on top and I never fall. Cup of tangle away for the pain, I take a sip. Got me walking with my shoes untied, I never slip. So I'm flying in the back of my mind, I take a trip. Bright lights, big city, I'm ducked off the side of the whip. Shade song, cause I'm hot right now, me and my bitch. Fuck, I care, cause it's dark outside. Some real shit, some real shit. Radio, hip hop, and RB. K100, you bastard. K-100. All right, K100 the Radio, I'm your host. Listen, uh, again, we back live right now. We rocking with the homie Daylight Johnson, all right? That was some real shit by the homie. Now, that song right there, when I heard it, Daylight, I was like, yeah, I knew he was capable of. Yeah. Yeah, I was, like, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I was right. I was like, yeah, I wanted to hear some more. He was like, he I wanted to like, hear some more. You know, at the, uh, at the uh, conference, we was like, he was like, hey, it's a good song, but I know that ain't your best song. I want to hear more. Right. And I was like, I <laughs> Exactly. I was, to, I was just trying to give you something that's relevant, man. Yeah, because, yeah. like I say, man, Carrie, Carrie QT, Taylor, like I said, man, shouts out to her, man. Shouts out to the whole fam, man. And, and K100, man, y'all, y'all, hey, man, y'all open up some dough for me. But like she said, you know, she said she felt like that wasn't my best song. She said it was a great, it was a good song. She said the same thing. She, you know, played a smoke and mirror game, and it was like my shot that came off is like, okay, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now, mm-hmm. you know, just to get my feet in the game, man. But I, I, I like how you did that, man. You did your research and let people hear more of me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Let me know I'm just, I'm more than just my shot. You know, I got music out now that, you know, that I, I, I would say people have slept on. But I wasn't grinding then how I can grind now. Right. So but a lot I of never... that stuff is going to come to the light. Yep. You know, daylight. Yep. It's going to come out. Exactly. But one, but just like you said yourself earlier, push the song for however long it takes. And again, that's my first time hearing that record. So it's new to me. So oh, yeah. it's new to me. Oh, yeah, man. You know like, actually, you know, I directed that, yeah. that video and everything, man. And that came out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Everything you see from me up until this, uh, all the way up now. I, I actually grinded and, and did all that myself, man. Right. So, well, man, like what I said, man, you know, I work a nine to five, man. That's the only thing that's funding me to do this, man. You know, keeping good credit because you're going to need some credit cards <laughs> doing this. Let me tell <laughs> I, I, you, I got to believe in yourself, man. I, I tell people this all the time, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to wrap it up, and I'm going to make sure you give out your contact information. If, you, if, if, if you're down with having a record deal, and, 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 I, and, I, and, and it was an independent artist named Jay Harden. I don't know if you've heard of Jay Harden. You probably have. He kind of from he kind of grinded his way through uh through, through the South. He I know he did a lot of shows in Alabama and stuff like that. Tall kid. He does uh hip hop uh, and R and B. Now he's yeah now he's doing soul and now he's got a new song called Step. Shout out to the homie. But we had a long conversation on the show one day and he broke down you know how he did his projects and his his project was always big budget. And I used to always be like mm, one who got the bag. Never want to jump in the man business. But I was like I wonder who got the bag where the bag come from whatever. And he was like you know what one day he gave me the game. He's like you know what dog. He said, I gave myself a record deal. And he said, I'm signed to Visa Records. And I said, what? He said, man, a record deal ain't nothing but a, a loan yeah. anyway. So all he did was just work super hard to get his credit A1 and start and got a, a credit card with a super crazy high limit and basically gave himself his own record deal. He said, I got to pay Visa back just like I had to pay the record label back. If they gave me the money to front me the money for my videos, I have to, they're going to take all that money back yeah. anyway. So he said, he signed himself to damn Visa Records, got his credit score up to damn near 800, got a big, but big ass. Got nice credit cards with like hundred thousand dollar limits. Another one with a fifty thousand dollar limit. Another one fifty thousand dollar limit. Now he just got a signing bonus for two hundred thousand dollars to do his advance, to do his own, to do his career. And I'm like, you know what, fam? She, technically, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like, you know what. <laughs> hey, hey, like I said, man, sign yourself, man. Sign yourself. And they gave me a nice name for for a new EP, though. You know what I'm saying? Visa. <laughs> Visa. I'm signing. He was saying he was signing the Visa it, record. Man. And, uh, yeah, you know, so that's just a little story I tell artists, and I'm like, you know what? If you're willing to sign a 360 deal, if you're willing to sign a record deal, you 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 will be better off just fucking working super crazy hard and getting a really great credit score and having a little bit of collateral some kind of way, and going out and get a fucking high, not not high interest rate, not high interest rates, but if you could get some decent interest rates on a high credit limit and just financing your own career and go out there, and then everything comes back. 
you get your own, you get all your bread back, you got to pay Visa back, but it ain't the same way. They ain't going to take it from you off the top. You decide how much you're going to pay Visa of. You can pay the bad minimum monthly. Anyway, just a little bit of free game. Just a little bit of free game. All right. Daylight. <laughs> I'm tired of I'm, 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 I'm done giving out free game. Listen, I want you to tell all these people listening where they can find your music, where they can find you at, how they can connect with you on social media. Go ahead. Oh, man, you can find Daylight Johnson, man, on Facebook. It's D-A-Y-L-Y-T-E Johnson on Facebook, man, my personal page, man. You you link up with me, I link back, man. You inbox me, I inbox you back, man. You also can go to Daylight ENT, Daylight Nation, um, uh, Daylight Music Group, on, all on Facebook, man. Twitter is Daylight Johnson, man. And the only thing that set myself aside, man, is Daylight Johnson on IG, but... Hey, you can pick me up better at Light Man. L Y T E M A N, man. Y'all look look me up, man, and follow me. I follow back. Also, you can find my music and a, a lot more of my music, my shout and more on Tidal, Spotify, um, iTunes. Hey, just about on all circuits, man. Everywhere you stream music at, man, just or you can just Google Daylight Johnson. You can make it one word, or you can cut it in half, man. Daylight Johnson. Oh. So. Like I said, man, I can be found everywhere, man. All right. Like I said, man, I can't wait to get to the A tomorrow. We link up, see what's happening. All right, man. We all, you're always welcome, man. You're over here now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Daylight Johnson, K100 Radio. This has been a direct line interview. Shout out to Jay Harris and everybody over there, the crew, my fam, my K100 Radio family, uh, for making us, uh, uh, putting putting this all, all together. You know, it was kind of a last minute, but we wanted to make sure we salvage the situation. And now you over here, got you a direct line interview on K100 Radio. If you missed any parts of any of our direct line interviews, of course, you know, you can catch them over there on our YouTube page. Also, you can listen to our podcast, Spotify, uh, our, our Spotify podcast, uh, the direct line interviews go over there. Also, they go over there to our SoundCloud page. So you can access all of these direct line interviews after the fact. If you don't want to sit and watch your screen, throw your headphones on, go over to our SoundCloud page or our Spotify podcast. Podcast, uh, just type in K100 Radio. Also, we have, I'm getting ready to update everything as far as music. So our Seriously Spin Worthy playlist over there, I'm revamping all of that. I got another idea as far as making that stay current that I finally figured out how I don't have to do it all myself. So our Seriously Spin Worthy playlist on Spotify. The Spotify podcast is where you can catch the interviews, of course, on SoundCloud. And, of course, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll be able to check this out, too, as well. So shout out to my homie Daylight Johnson, man, for coming through. Man, listen, dog, keep grinding, dog. Keep providing for your family and keep pushing, dog. We'll see you out here, all right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. For sure. All right. You are tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R&B. And of course, K100, you bastard! Somebody asked me to play. Uh, somebody over here on the um, Instagram live feed asked me to play a song that got the ill. Uh, as we sign off, as we sign off, uh, I run this song that just got added to our rotation on Illa Kill last night. Somebody who was this? Trilly Poke. Trilly Poke. Trilly Poke. If you still over there, if you give me the thumbs up, Trilly Poke, I'll play that B Banks. Trilly Poke. If Trilly Poker is still over here on my Instagram live feed, I'm going to run that B-Banks. All you got to do is give me a thumbs up, a clap, or a flame emoji right now. And I'm going to play that B-Banks as we roll out. All right. But anyway, I really appreciate everybody that's uh, tuning in over here to K100 Radio. Uh, we really appreciate you guys for rocking with us. Again, we just did some really dope direct line interviews. And, of course, if you missed any of the um, if you missed any of the interviews over here, uh, of course, again, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, uh, follow our podcast on Spotify and also connect with us over there on the um, uh, uh, on the uh, SoundCloud page as well. Uh, all of these can be really easily connected to if you just go to our website, uh, which is k100radio.com. Uh, the link is in the bio over there on, on, on Facebook. It's in the link in the bio over there on Instagram. So it's not really hard to find all these different places. Our website, which is k100radio.com, has a quick link to every one of these. D- d- download our app. Find us uh, download our, our apps for uh, iTunes or Google Play. You can find our link to the YouTube uh, to the TuneIn app. You can uh, uh, find our YouTube page, our Spotify playlist, our Spotify podcast, our YouTube channel. Everything is literally like one click. If you just go to our website, it's like just scroll and anything that you want to find. You know what I'm saying? So you got to type all that shit in. Just go to k1radio.com and you'll be able to find everything. All right, Truly Pope. Trilly Pope said they're going to be out here on the 24th. Trilly Pope, tell B-Banks them, man, 
You just got him that extra spin. All right, this is K1's Radio. Check this song out. This song right here got really great feedback uh, last night on our music review show, Illa Kill. It's by an artist named B Banks. It's called Beast Mode. All right, check this joint out. And uh, that's it. I'm out after this. You are tuned to K100 Radio. Hip Hop and R&B. <laughs> You got him.